Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing. I'm back with Larry Bobka. Larry, we're in the Quintec lab at Second Swing Minnetonka, and we're talking about face inserts on putters. First off, what is a face insert? Why is it important? Why should the golfers at home care about face inserts? Well, face insert technology has been around for a long time. Not kind of the way most golfers think about it. Back in the day, they used to take steel-headed putters and put aluminum in them or aluminum putters and put steel in them. So they, they've been around, yeah. face inserts have been around for, they've been around longer than I've been around and that's a long time. So, you know, what we're talking about face inserts, I mean, I've got a Scotty Cameron Newport here. Yep. This is milled out of a solid block. I mean, there is no insert, it is a full one piece putter. Yep. So this would be considered a non-insert putter. There's lots of non-insert putters. Okay, so yep. So now if we're going and we're talking about insert putters, now I've got virtually the same kind of model, an Pretty answer similar. style putter. And this has a very soft, this is the new Ping series, and this has a soft insert and it has some grooves in that. Well, why did they do that? What do inserts really do? Inserts really vary the feel of the putter. Now do, the question has always become, well what is feel? Is feel what you're feeling in your hands or is it more what you hear in your ears? Right. Okay, we did a test years ago at Wilson where we had players, we put earphones on them and they were hitting golf clubs, putters and irons and Nobody could tell the difference between it. <laughs> so sound is feel, especially when it comes to putting. Yeah. Because you're listening for that crash off the face. Some people like a softer feel. Some people like a harder feel. A lot of it, de it depends on the golf ball you play. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ping's original one with the slot in there, you know, Ping, that's why the company became Ping, exactly. because of the sound that it made. It was a very crashing feel. Well, this, you know, now with golf balls getting harder, going away from balada wound golf balls to modern golf balls, the golf ball's really firmer. Mm -hmm. So companies have tried to create a softer feel. So that's where Ping has done it with that. Right. You know, one of the one of the biggest companies when it comes to inserts has been Odyssey. You know, that's pretty much been their, their claim to fame all yep. along has been an insert putter. The White Hot is probably their most famous one. It's to give it a softer feel, okay? But they have done many variations of this, okay? This one is just a White Hot with a, with a milled face. So there's really, you know, from a standpoint of any grooves or anything, there's nothing, no. there's nothing special there. But if you take their insert before, which was their micro hinge, so they've taken the white, but they've put these metal micro hinges in there to grab the golf ball, to try to give it more overspin. Mm -hmm. Because we know the more overspin that you get on a putt, the more it's gonna hold its line true, and the better you're gonna roll the golf ball. Right. You're gonna have speed control, you're gonna have line control, everything's gonna be better. So that's kind of where the micro hinge came into their nice soft insert. Well, they've also done over the years, I can't even tell you what year this is from, but you know, they had a black insert. Yep. Well, this black insert was firmer than the white insert. You know, give players a different feel. Mm -hmm. Okay, then they also had well, they had the white insert, but they put metal in there, yep. trying to get, create a firmer feel. Again, sound is feel, and when I hit a putt, I want to know that when it comes off with the right sound, it's going to roll the right distance. Because mm -hmm. ultimately, you know, like I like to say, the three most important things in putting are speed, speed, and speed. So if I hit at the right speed, I've got a chance of making putts. So that's really what inserts are there for. Inserts are there for to create a feel and a sound to give you confidence. And like I said, with some of the grooved ones, because we'll go into a tailor-made spider here. Yep. Okay, they've got a soft insert, but as you can see, 
looks like it's got score lines in it, just yep. like an iron. Yep. Same thing. They're trying to get the ball to grab those and create a lot of overspin. Okay? It's a great idea. Okay? Is it for everybody? Not necessarily. Okay? Players who tend to kind of throw the putter at impact are better off with, a, with this. Mm -hmm. Some players that deliver it, you know, a little bit more down, they don't really need that. Okay, and that's why it's great to come in here and get a Quintec fitting, because one, you can sit and listen to the putts and you can see what you like and feel, but then you can also see the numbers and we can really zero in the numbers that, hey, that putter's doing great, but let's try one with an insert. Mm -hmm. You make the same stroke, it might create more overspin. It right. might become a better putter for you. You know, because the, the one thing we do want to eliminate we need to eliminate backspin on our yes. putts. Backspin is the death of putting. You know, and then here's another tailor made, so it's not as quite a big <laughs> insert or grooves as that one right there, a little bit smaller, a little bit more conventional, but they've taken a metal putter and they put a softer insert in mm -hmm. it. So it really has a lot to do about sound and feel and ultimately about performance that you're gonna get on the golf course. Okay, any questions? I think, so the question is, I suppose, I'm a golfer without an insert. There's so many different options. It doesn't sound like there's really a rule of thumb in terms, the, the inserts are so different. That's right. not just a question of going from, I have a, a, a very kind of milled, regular putter to just getting an insert. There's a lot more thinking that goes into it. There's a lot of different kinds of inserts. Yeah, absolutely, because you know, out there, we, we're looking at our putter corral. Yep. I mean, there is hundreds and hundreds of putters out there with hundreds and hundreds of different inserts, different feel. You've got to really come in and you kind of got to zero it down. That's why we use Quintech at Second Swing because it's so much easier for us to get an indication of the numbers are good. Right. You know, rather than just hitting putts and say, oh, that looks good, that looks great. If I've got definitive numbers, just like a, on a track man in a driver fitting, yeah. I have definitive numbers that, hey, this one actually helps you better. I mean, I've had players walk out from a putter fitting going, wow, I didn't really think that was the putter I was ever going to get. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I'm totally shocked. <clears throat> but then they're, it, it's great. It works good. Okay. So you really have to come in and get fit for it. You know, hey, I, I think it's like everybody. There's so many different styles. I mean, on a Friday afternoon or a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday, you know, come here and hit a bunch of hit a bunch of putters. Yep. You know, some of the most successful fittings I have is, I had a player come in the other day. Well, he said, I've been here four times before the fitting because I wanted to hit everything. Right. I wanted to look at everything and I wanted to see what I like to feel. He brought in two putters. We fine-tuned one of them. One, one gave us better roll numbers than the other one. We fine-tuned that. He walked out the door in 15 or 20 minutes with a putter that was significantly better than what he brought in. Yep. So when it comes to putters, it helps to try them. Yep. You know, it helps to come in and hit some putts. I mean, we've got a great space for players to do that in all our stores. And it would be really nice that, you know, just go spend a little time. And then when you, when you feel, when you get a feel or it's something you like or two or three that you like, then you talk to the fitter and then you just get it zeroed in. And then you're, then you know, you've got your hand. I mean, you got to remember you're playing 40 to 43% of your shots with your, with your putter. Yep. You're crazy if you don't get it fit. Exactly. Well, if you want to become another second swing success story and start rolling in more putts, we encourage you to speak to a second swing fitter today and they'll get you dialed in on the greens. Larry, thank you very much for your time. You're thank welcome. you at home for watching. We'll see you next time.